Welcome to today's lesson on multiplication and division facts. Today we're going to practice your multiplication and division. We're going to see how they're linked together, and we're also going to review how to divide numbers. Let's go ahead and get started. When you're trying to remember your multiplication and division facts, it's important to remember that multiplication is repeated addition. So let's say you were trying to remember what 3 times 4 is equal to. Well, all you're doing is adding 4 3 times. So what is 4 plus 4 plus 4? 4 plus 4 is 8 plus 4 is 12. So when you're trying to remember your multiplication facts, it's helpful to remember how many of the number you have, and then you can add or you can skip count to get to that number. One way to do this is using a multiplication chart. Let's go ahead and let's see how it works. We're going to start today by using the multiplication table below. Now to use a multiplication table, you're going to multiply one of the numbers on this left-hand column here, highlighted in green, by one of these numbers in this top row here, highlighted by green as well. Now we're going to start by using the number 2 today. And we're going to be multiplying 2 times 1, and then by 2, and 3, and 4. And I want you to go ahead and look for a pattern. So let's go ahead and let's start counting together. So 2 times 1 equals 2. 2 times 2 equals 4. 2 times 3 equals 6. 2 times 4 equals 8. 2 times 5 equals 10. And so on. So now you can see how you can multiply these numbers together to equal a product. But I want you to look for a pattern. Let's go ahead and let's count this highlighted row together. 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20, 22, 24. So we were just skip counting by twos. And that makes sense because we are multiplying by the number 2. Let's go ahead and let's look at this column going down. So now we're going to multiply 2 times 1 to equal 2, 2 times 2 to equal 4, 2 times 3 to equal 6, and so forth. So as you can see, we're still skip counting by 2. We just changed the order of the numbers that we're multiplying by. So again, this is a great tool that you can use to practice your multiplication. Let's go ahead and try some harder problems. Let's try a few problems together. Can you tell me the product of 5 times 3? Well, let's skip count together. 5, 10, 15. And now we've lined up with our column of 3. So the product of 5 times 3 equals 15. Now you can also use this for division. You can say 15 divided by 3 equals 5, or 15 divided by 5 equals 3. Let's go ahead and try another one. Can you tell me the product of 9 times 10? Let's skip count together. 9, 18, 27, 36, 45, 54, 63, 72, 81, 90. And now we're lined up with our 10, so the product of 9 times 10 equals 90. And we can also say that 90 divided by 10 equals 9, or 90 divided by 9 equals 10. You may also need to use long division to find the quotient of a problem. Let's go ahead and divide 88 by 2. Now, when you're doing long division, you're first going to start by taking your divisor and seeing how many times your divisor can go into the first digit of your dividend. So 2 can go into 8 4 times because 2 times 4 equals 8. So we're going to write our 8 below and subtract 8 minus 8 equals 0. So now we're going to drop our 8 down and repeat the process. 2 can go into 8 4 times. 2 times 4 equals 8, and we subtract out, and that means we have successfully completed this problem. 88 divided by 2 gives us a quotient of 44. 
Can you tell me the quotient of 65 divided by 5? All right, let's go ahead and get started. Our first step, 5 can go into 6 one time. 5 times 1 equals 5. We subtract out 6 minus 5 equals 1. We drop down our 5. 5 can go into 15 three times. 5 times 3 equals 15. And we subtract out to 0. So we know that 65 divided by 5 equals 13. But also, if you remember from our multiplication tables, we could say 5 times 13 equals 65. Let's go ahead and review what you've learned in today's lesson. Remember, multiplication is repeated addition. So if you're going to be multiplying two numbers and you can't remember your multiplication facts, you can skip count to get to that number. So to get the product of 4 times 5, we can skip count 5 4 times. So we have 5, 10, 15, 20. And 4 times 5 equals 20. We also learned that you can take your product from multiplication and then divide it to find a quotient. For example, 20 divided by 5 equals 4. Or 20 divided by 4 equals 5. Lastly, we discussed using long division if you can't skip count to a number or remember the multiplication or division fact. For example, 92 divided by 4. To complete this problem, we're going to see how many times 4 can go into the number 9. 4 can go into 9 two times. 4 times 2 equals 8. We subtract down 9 minus 8 equals 1, and then we drop our 2. Then we repeat the process. 4 can go into 12 three times. 4 times 3 equals 12, and we have now zeroed out our equation. So 92 divided by 4 equals 23. But we could also say that 23 times 4 equals 92. 